Hey, it's me, Oscar from The Coding Universe, and this is episode 14 of Java Game Development, in which I'll be covering orthographical presentations. Now, earlier on, we were using the command glortho to create a orthographical presentation. For those of you who do not know what an orthographical presentation is, it is a presentation without perspective, mainly used for 2D projections. Now this tutorial we're going to take a closer look at the parameters for this. Now with the current call to GL ortho, we have it set so that 0x0y 0 0 is the upper left corner of the screen, or the window, and 640x480y is the bottom right corner of the window. Now let's look at the names of the parameters. The first one is called the left parameter, which specifies the op offset to the left side. The second one is called the right parameter, which specifies the offset from the left side. The third one is the bottom parameter, which specifies the offset from the top to the bottom. And the fourth one is the top parameter, which specifies the offset from the bottom to the top. Now we have set right and bottom to 640 and 480. If we look at this wonderful image here, this would be left, or uh, this would be right, this would be left, this would be bottom and this would be top. Now if we have 640 as right, which we have, look, right is 640. This line will be 640 pixels. 640. Now we also have a bottom parameter, which sets the offset from the top, which is this one, and it's 480 pixels. We set the other ones to zero. So what we've basically done here is set this corner of the screen to zero x 0, y, and this one to 640, 480, because you can basically erase these lines, because they're 0. Now let's say we wanted 0, 0 to be the center of the window. We would call GL ortho, one left, one right, one bottom, and one top. Oh, and the z-near and z-far method, or, for, or parameters, they are for indicating how much 3D objects you want to see. And since we want, uh, don't want to see any 3D objects at all, or how far you can see them rather, we're going to set this to minus 1 and 1. Or 1 and minus 1. I don't think that matters. So now that we've set each and every parameter as 1, we can look at this as this would be 1, 1, 1, 1. So everywhere there would be an offset of 1, meaning that the center of the window would be 0x0y. Zero zero Let's try this out. GL begin, GL point, so we're going to draw a point at 0x, zero 0y. Zero there, let's try this. So as you see, there is a nice point in the middle of the screen, or the window. 
Now what would happen if we would put other numbers in this? Let's see what the other corners of the window actually represent. So if we type in GL for x 2F 1X 1Y it will be I actually can't find the can't find the point so there is an OpenGL command called GL point size and it allows you to specify the size of a point. We're going to choose 10 pixels. So there we go, 1, 1 is apparently the upper right corner of the window. Minus 1, minus 1 would then be the bottom right corner of the window, which is correct. Doing this we can create a triangle which is drawn along all corners of the window. So let's do that. GL begin GL triangles. And we're going to start at the bottom left corner of the screen. Then we're going to go to the bottom right corner of the screen. So that would be 1x minus 1y. And then for the third and last vertice, we're going to choose the upper right point, which is 1, 1. If we draw this, you can see there is a triangle from the bottom left corner to the bottom right corner to the upper right corner. This vertice here corresponds with this one. This one corresponds with this one. And this one corresponds with this one. Okay, th that was pretty much all I'm going to explain about orthographical presentations. Next time I'll explain 3D perspectives. Bye.